You're watching Friday Night Hits, and welcome to Greer. All right, thank you, everybody. The rain stayed away from Dooley Field and Greer, but lighting in the area prevented the game from kicking off. Until after 9 o'clock, facing Hillcrest. Let's pick this one up early first quarter. Bennett Judy, the Rams quarterback, hitting Avery McFadden. He is gone. Goodbye. 66 yards to the house. Hillcrest up 7 to nothing. Greer coming right back on their first possession, but the quarterback fumbles the snap. Hillcrest recovers the ball, and the Rams get a nice little first down and get another drive started. A few plays later, Judy, he's going up top again, looking for Adrian Mayberry. I think I... Founded on Mayberry Street, 35-yard reception. Rams up 14-0. Next Hillcrest possession. Judy handing it off to Thomas Stanley. He finds the end zone. And it's Hillcrest beating Greer 55-14. That game's still going on in the fourth quarter. All right, welcome back to Friday Night Hits. Home opener for Spartanburg. The Vikes reached the 5A Upper State Final last year. Always a challenge, however, going up against Dutch Fork. The weather delaying the start here, but doing nothing to dampen the enthusiasm of a very excited fan base. Dutch Fork fakes a punt with a throw. John Hunt to Landon Danley for the first down. Dutch Fork keeps the ball. A couple plays later, running the Wildcat. Jarvis Green to the outside, to the outside, to the outside. 30-yard touchdown, 6-0 Dutch Fork. Still in the second quarter, Spartanburg with the ball on the 22. Raheem Jeter, look at this throw. My goodness, to Quay Moore. Missed the extra point, stays at 6-6. Six to six. This is a back and forth battle here, but it's Dutch Fork leading currently 18-13 in the third quarter. The Dustin Curtis era off and rolling. The Cavaliers knocked off Greenville last week in their opener at North Augusta tonight, and this is a big time touchdown by Raekwon Robinson. Goodbye. 42-28 the final for Dorman. All right, I'll show you a few more scores. A weather delay, Woodmont Walhalla, they're still going on. Stopped in the third, it's 32-16 Woodmont, 96 over where Shoals 53 to zero. Carolina High leading West Oak 22 to zip when that game was postponed. We'll resume tomorrow at three. Whitmire 20 to six over Spartanburg Christian at halftime. And Landrum beating Berea 27 to three in the third. The Blacksburg Wildcats playing with a heavy heart. Head coach Jet Turner stepping away from the team for the season to battle a health issue. His team playing for Jet. They travel to Greenville to play St. Joe's on this Friday night. Knights coming off a big win over Fox Creek. Blacksburg's Dre Buxton going in from 13 yards to give the Wildcats a 7-0 lead in the first quarter. St. Joe's responds. However, it would be William Gillespie taking the handoff score on a short run right there. Ties the game up 7-7. Seven to seven. And it goes on. Here we go to the final at St. Joe's. They beat Blacksburg 35-7. to seven. The Greenwood Eagles hoping to soar past Sandy Creek in their first home game of the season. But it is Sandy Creek up 27-7. to seven. Not getting any better in the second half. Third quarter kickoff. That's Rich Van Zant. Takes it 70 yards to the house. Sandy Creek up 34 to 7, and they go on to beat the Eagles 46 to 21. Sky Four, East Side Eagles hosting Pendleton. We didn't have Sky Four tonight, but our Sky Four shooter down on the ground kind enough. And here we go at Pendleton and East Side, and that's the Bulldogs scoring a touchdown right there, and they would get the two point conversion with some trickeration. They go up 8 0. Pendleton is leading in this game. 14 to 0 in the third quarter. The first home game for new TR head coach Michael Lancaster hosting Wade Hampton. Travelers rest up 7 0, but it's the Generals with the ball. Cooper Tankersley, he's off all the way down to the one yard line from there. Nigel Brewster sauntering in and Wade Hampton 49 to 28. They beat Travelers rest. It is their first win since 20. 18. That'll do it for Friday Night Hits. All of the final scores you can find on our website. Have a great night and a great weekend. We'll see you next week.